Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm MGX. And we're going to play some Pac-Mans. We're going to pack all those mans. Ah, select. So uh, yes, got to select the, and start. According to the old ways. Yeah. This is a zero button game. All you have is the directional pad. It's true. It feels weird. I don't know if it's because I haven't played it in a million years, or if there's actually some delay I'm not accounting for. Uh, there could be. Uh, when they made the switch for the HDMI, it introduced uh, uh, input lag. Just, oh. It's just a factor of modern TVs, really. Sure. I mean, modern games can generally work around it with uh, generous buffers, but they weren't the thing back in the CRT days. Sure. And, I mean, so many different TVs. I mean, mm -hmm. with different refresh rates and stuff. Even yeah. if they tried to account for it, they could account for it on, like, Samsung TVs. Yeah. Or what have you. And there is, there are certain TVs that don't have this problem. But Lord knows if I know what they are. You're done, son. Yep. They boxed you in. <laughs> they did. They don't even have true AI. I mean, no. they all just do something. And yet I am still outsmarted by them more often than not. One of them literally just wanders around. Yeah, randomly. There's, there's one that there's one that does not try to follow you at all. Just take it in the sights. Wanders into you more often than you'd think though. I think it was a smart design decision to make one of them just do its own thing. Yeah. It catches you off guard when you're, you know, trying to outsmart them or whatever. And even then, it doesn't do it 100% uh, randomly, because Algert. There's no true randomness Ah, come yet. on, he was still blue ref. <laughs> My only hope is that I at least make it out of the first stage. Yeah. Yeah. Out of tutorial town. Yeah. Hey, oh. you made it. Yeah, ah, uh, won't let me take the victory bite out of that ghost. No. Now, remarkably similar stage two. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, they worked really hard on this stage. They gotta get some mileage out of it. Ooh. So I've always wondered, I know the ghosts are faster than you. Uh, mm -hmm. normally. Are they still faster than you when you're, you know, Super Pac-Man or whatever? No. no they, they do slow, slow down. down. Get that strawberry. It's gonna be the death of me, but I'll do it. Oh! Thought for sure they were gonna come for me. Yeah, a little bit of lag. Mm -hmm. I mean, not enough that I'm gonna, like, say that's why I didn't, you know, do better. Um, but enough that I'm like, oh, huh, weird. Yeah. I love the idea that for all of our advanced, you know, stuff, we have a hard time properly emulating a, a game that is, like, older than me. <laughs> the pink one was benevolent today. Red one in. Nope. Oh no! I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Died off screen. <sighs> like the secondary character I am. <laughs> So, did you ever watch the weird cartoon they made out of this? No. Nah. Um, I guess they've got a couple of weird cartoons now, I should probably specify, but there was like a, an old 80s cartoon, maybe early 90s, that would have been pretty close to when the original game was, you know, still, uh, putting around. And, uh, they gave them arms and legs and, like, a Pac family. Oh, yeah. Uh, I... It's the one Pac-Man 2 was based off of. Right. The second person adventure, the I guess. Second person adventure game. And we need to find a copy of that one. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know they made a Pac Man 2 until I watched that, uh, like, Awful presentation of it. Yeah. But, uh, more recently, they've done another one in that same vein with the, the Pac family and the 3Dness and stuff. But, um, he's supposed to be, like, the unsure, you know, like, protagonist character that's going to be the hero. Uh. Uh, and it's and it's in some not terrible 3D. I mean, it was done for TV, so, you know, you gotta set the bar a little lower. But, uh... It still had the ghosts. 
but the ghosts weren't, like, directly antagonistic, and there was some, like, greater threat that he was supposed to prevent as the, like, chosen one or whatever. Oh, God! I don't know why they had to add such a deep narrative to run around, eat dots, but they did. Yeah, that's how that goes. Nah. So how come you got the cutscene and I didn't? Did we both I have got to make stage it? stage three. Oh, you have. I then doubled back straight into a ghost. You know, for a second I thought maybe it was me and I wasn't paying attention. I was actually very <laughs> worried. <sighs> I have a single dot to go eat over there. At least, at least the leg in this game isn't so bad because it's you literally see the corn coming, corner coming. It's true. Yeah, I know it's it's not like uh you just buffer in your turn a little early. Yeah, it's not like pole position or something where I'd probably have a harder time. To... Or punch out, punch out. Some yeah. people are legitimately concerned they can't actually beat punch out due to the input lag. Um. Well, I mean, I think you can. Uh, unless you're trying to do something crazy, like, I don't know, doing it based off the audio cues blindfold or something. So, Those sorts of runs probably can't happen on new emulated type hardware. That's fair. But I think you could probably beat it normally if you're, you know, using the visual cues and everything else that the game gives you. True. I'm not saying I can, I'm actually pretty rubbish at that game. Especially now that they've found a video Aww. cue for... Tyson. Oh, yeah, the... Mr. Dream, not Mike Tyson. Well, I mean, it depends on whether we play it on this or we play it on the Nintendo. I've True. got Mike Tyson's True. punch out. We can we can fight him if we want. Nah. <laughs> you mean you're just gonna let them weight wash that role? I mean, the guy's still black. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. So... Crazy thing, I always thought that they took him off the box because of the, like, legal issues that he was facing, you know, like, going to prison and stuff, but I guess it's because he lost a fight right after that. When they, when they, uh, when they brokered that deal, Mike Tyson was undefeated. Nobody had beaten the man. And then literally right afterwards, he, uh, he lost a match. Pretty hard, too, I guess. Ooh. Um, I mean, I clearly don't remember this as it's a little before my time, but I guess that's why they didn't want him as their spokesperson anymore for the game, was that Hello. they wanted an unbeatable champion for their boss character, and right before press time, he is no longer unbeaten. Alrighty, so that's Pac-Man. I mean, I think, got the gist I was gonna say, I think we all know enough about Pac-Man to say, yeah, it's gonna be more of that, but different shaped bases. So let's see what else we got. What else were we doing? Um, I kind of want to play Galaga. Alright, let's play some Galaga. It's been a long time since we played Galaga. So, when I was a kid going to the arcade, like, there were two games that you could play uh, if you only had a quarter left. Pac-Man and this. And I was never good at Pac-Man, so I actually, for a time, was, like, halfway decent at this one. I used to... You know, be able to... I knew how to get the extra ship, which I thought was really clever as a little kid. You know, letting the... Oh, yeah, it doubles your firepower. Yeah, I mean, it also makes you a bigger target, so there's a trade-off. But I felt really clever for knowing that trick. And, like, nobody told me that. I figured it out. Like, I got my ship captured, then I didn't accidentally blow it up. Mm. Felt real good about it. I felt like, you know, I was accomplishing something. And I figured out the positioning for the... The bonus stages, so I used to perfect those. No, I used to be, like, you know, halfway decent at it. No, you're not getting an extra ship now. Well, no. Uh, I have not played this game much. Uh, I did take a moment to play it when we got the classic, and I've occasionally picked it back up and gone, yeah, I remember being good at... And then I, you know, blow up three times on the first stage and go... I guess that time has passed. Yay, bonus points. Ah. Yeah, no, I used to know exactly where to position to get everybody. But... It's not quite muscle memory anymore. 
That's okay. I mean, without practicing, that isn't terrible. Oh no, you only I'll missed four guys. I'll feel good if I make it to stage five. Stage five means that I'm not like I could probably get good again if I wanted to put a little time in. But uh no, this was this was like one of my favorite games. I mean it was a total time waster. It was literally me wanting to stay at the arcade longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's like we only have one coin left. It's like, I'll go play Galaga! And then, you know, like, my mom would go sit back down because she knew that that meant that I had another, you Don't know... Don't get captured! Um, there were a lot of other ships there. You could actually get blown up while being captured. Oh, yeah. Now they're bum-rushing you pretty good. Oh. Well, I mean, I didn't do terrible. Mm. And now you get to play! What does this game work single-player? I only ever played it, though. Or don't two-player. It just rotates back and forth every time one of us takes a, a ship damage like that. Uh, the other one's up. So, you know, it plays like a lot of the, air quotes, two-player games of the time where, you know, you just go until someone dies. Will it record your progress? Because you only had that one guy, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll put me back in exactly where I went. Um, if you lose your ship, that counts as losing a ship. Like... Right, right now. Oh. It's it's gonna be my turn now. Huh? Because you're not guaranteed to get that ship back. I suppose no. Play oh, too ready. Really? I could have swore on the arcade version that it uh it would let the other player play. But nice job not blowing your ship up. I'm real Because you can you can do that. And I remember the first time I the first time I didn't do it. I was like, I've been blowing my ship up for. Who knows how long without knowing that I could have gotten it back. MGX actually got that done pretty quick. For those that haven't played this game before, your ship will attack you while it's captured. They have control mm -hmm. of it. Uh, it'll do little bombing runs on you, and it is the worst. Makes this stage much easier, though. It does. The challenge stages go by a lot quicker if you can just sort of flak cannon it. Ah, they were right in between my guns. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to start shooting too early on a lot of these, because, uh... You can only have so many shots in the air at once. Exactly. So missing one is actually a big deal, because that's a lot of wasted time. It's not the Galaxian... Ah, no! Kamikaze! It's, it's not like, Galaxin wasted where you can only have, like, two bullets on the screen at once. Yeah. I think Galaxin was actually programmed for, I don't want to uh, be mean, but lesser hardware. Yeah, uh, no, it's definitely like a more primitive. Like the Spectrum ZX or something like yeah. that. Definitely a much more primitive game, that one. I mean, you know, for what it was, it was pretty impressive. But, yeah, no, I think it was programmed for one of those, like, small home computer Commodore 64 kind of things. Mm. I'm not sure of it. But I think it was programmed for the Spectrum, which was a, a British computer. Oh, wow. They don't even load the rest of the guys they did, you know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, I messed up! You... Oh, you did. Oh, crud. Well, that's it for me. But yeah, I think it was for the Spectrum. Which was a British computer that would have been similar to the... Oh god. I think it was like... The Commodore 64 was our equivalent in terms of, like, the era and, you know, rough right. processing power of it. But it was one of those, you know, plug it into a TV and it's it's kind of a computer-ish. Mm -hmm. um, Stage 6. What was really common for uh, a lot of British programmers, companies like Ocean and the like, they would make games for the Specky because it was really popular over there. I mean, it was just gangbusters. And they would then port the stuff, you know, almost begrudgingly, to the Nintendo because, well, they recognized that if they wanted to crack that North American market, they had to put something on something we literally had. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we didn't get the Spectrum over here. It, 
if you remember some of the Nintendo games looking a little, I don't know, kludgier? Games like, you know, Galaxian and um, I think maybe Hogan's Alley? <laughs> yeah. Well, you made it to challenge stage two. I wasn't paying attention, though. <laughs> so I'm not doing tremendous at it, but that's okay. Forgot everything doubles back on this one. You gotta really get him on that first pass. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I know a lot of those, a lot of those early Nintendo games that seem, that seem like you know Atari and Commodore sixty four games. They were. They basically. were. I mean, heck, Donkey Kong and uh, Donkey Kong Junior. And baseball. Baseball. Uh, anything by Tengen. Tengen was a offshoot of what was left of Atari after the big collapse. Uh, it's another. It's another go term. I think. It, I think it's the phrase. I think it's the term for the center of the board. Atari is like check in chess, and then there's another term that means checkmate. They were actually going to name a company that, but then it, like, folded almost immediately because the industry collapsed. Mm. So but, uh, accurate, then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think they meant for it to be checkmate for their competition, but but yes, in a sense, that is what it meant. Alrighty, well, having been thoroughly schooled in Galaga by Kathemoji, we're gonna... That's as close to competent as I get to look most days, but hey, 52%. Hey, alright. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell us what games you like from the era of Forgotten Games. Catch you later. Catch you later.